so welcome once again in the last video we have configured our source database and the destination database so in this video we will be learning how to use these two databases so as you know we are fetching the data from one data source the static tables so here we have an employee table and we are sending this data to another schema and that that is this schema techno tab here we need to make the same table we, i have already made it you have to make the same table i will show what are all the details so you have to keep all the details same as in the previous table we can do it automatically by creating a script uh, in which we load in the beginning but here we are not doing that we will be making it manually for the first time and as you can see there is no data in the table so what we will do we will just take the data from this table static tables employees and we will send it to this employees in a different schema so i have already made the table you can just go ahead and make this table now we go to our service class employee service so in this service class as you can see that it is able to fetch the data let's run it once and so so as you can see it is able to fetch the data and it is fetching from the default data source because we have not mentioned anything related to the data source here so it is fetching from the primary whatever we have mentioned the source data source it is taking so uh, let's we are going to use two data sources so we will make it as so this should pick the data from the primary data source so let's make it so here in transactional whatever the data source name you are giving it will fetch from that data source if we are giving the destination name it will fetch from the destination here we are giving the source data source name and what name in we will be giving in the transactional we will be giving our platform transaction manager this name we will be giving copy it go to your my service my service keep it here let's stop it check if it is running fine now always no problem till now now what we have to do we have to write a logic which will send the data to our destination database we are keeping this class clean so we will be only performing the transaction related to the primary data source in this class so we will keep it clean and whatever related with the destination database we will be doing it in our controller so let's go here and write a new method i have already written for saving more time i'll just explain it so a save employees save employees we have given the url and just a sys out sys out and the list of employees it what it will do it it will take the employee service reference and get all employees so guys you can see here employee destination repository we don't have anything such like that so we have to make a repository which is employee destination repository so now as you can see we have a repository already here but this is pointing to let's open this one this is pointing to employees and this employees we are fetching it from our source database so let's make one more repository So let's name it as a destination repository. So 
so we have a destination repository and this is the source repository in destination repository we have uh, we have an employee repository called shift r So we have renamed this repository and uh, uh, we'll be using this for persisting our data so guys don't get confused with the two repository here this is the employee repository which is pointing to the entity of static tables this employee and this we have made one more employee repository which will be pointing to the employees of the destination location copy this name and it will go to your employee controller and you can auto wire it sorry sorry destination repository Come here and give the name. Auto wear it. And just import the place. So now we have got the all the employees here and we are using the destination repository to save that employee the destination save it now let's run our program i'm sorry i have to stop the server first then only Start it again. I think this is our project. We should start this one. So as you can see here, employee controller required type in com dot destination repository could not be found. So what we have to do here, whatever the name we have given, copy this qualified name, go to your destination repository, your destination data source, and you have to change the name in your case here. now it's started so let's go and check if we are able to save our employee in the destination let's enter it's not giving any message let's go to our console So as you can see, hide the method is selecting. It is it is inserting or not. Let's go to our database and refresh it. So it's not saving it. We have made problem. If changes were required which we have not done let's say this is dot two let's 
going to use this same name. In our properties. Let's keep this separated. So, guys, I have made some changes in the program. I have made the destination data source as a primary, and from the source data source, I have removed the primary annotation. Also, one more change I have made in a dot properties I have removed use SSL from after techno tab so this was creating some problem and uh, also like we in the employee controller we are not means any data source here so it will take the default data source whatever mentioned primary to save our employee For that reason we have made the destination data source as a primary. So let's run this application. Make sure nothing is there in the database. Now our application is started we will and we will call our service and let's refresh it so we have got the data and here inside save method we are not getting the box uh, that's because I have messed up my application properties uh, this this is not a big deal at least we are getting the data or it is for just for our testing for real time application we don't show the logs of uh, sql so it is fine with us also and also i'm going to upload this project into git and you can download it from there and you can take any reference from there if it is not run if your program is not running you can go and download from git and you can just compare your project and that project and you can take the reference from there and it will work for sure and if still if you are getting any doubts feel free to comment feel free to write it in the comment section and uh, thanks for watching if you find this tutorial helpful please subscribe my channel the channel name is techno tab you can search for my channel on youtube and you can subscribe my channel to support me thank you for watching